Hey trolls and trollettes, how's everybody doing today? Troll in here. Uh, last time we were in our survival world, we were working on the slime farm. Which works almost, almost every time. I sat here and collected a couple. Um, got 19 so far, I think. 18? 19. And... I believe we have some at the house. But, I dug back here, and I found some diamonds, so I'm going to make sure, yeah, I'm going to grab these diamonds. Brilliant. Now we have 15 diamonds, crazy. And, I'm going to go back up to the house, and what we're going to do, I'm going to dig out enough room to start uh, messing with the door, and I think we're going to make the door today. If not today, then next episode. But I definitely want to get that done, so I will be back when I'm at the house. Alright guys, I'm back. I went ahead and made all the stuff, and I got all the stuff that I needed. And then I made the frame, too. So, it's going to be cobblestone for now. I don't know what it's going to be later on. You can, you guys should uh, leave that in the comments for me, what should I change this to. Because, uh, and by this I mean the door, what it's going to be. Because, uh, I'm not sure if I think it would look good with dirt or not, but, like I said, you guys decide. Let me know, and I will, I will, uh, change it to that. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the door. I'll put a link in the description to the, uh, door that I'm using. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, um... I am in creative mode. I've been messing with the 4x4 door for about, I want to say, over two and a half hours now. And I'm beat. Like, I've made at least six 4x4s in the last two and a half hours. Anyway, this is the 4x4 door. Not the top, or uh, I didn't really need the bottom either, but... Uh, I, it's just the, the side, the middle, it's just, let me show you what it's supposed to look like. 4x4 four four piston door, it's supposed to look like this, minus the lag, perfect, it's supposed to open like this, perfect, CNB Minecraft came up with this, which is good. It's fine. I understand it's not my idea. Whatever. Link in the description to his channel, to his, to this design in general. However, this design only works facing east or west, not north or south. Watch what happens. Let's pretend it's closed all the way. So that's what it looks like when it's closed all the way. Now you may think, no trolling, you just fucked the wiring up. No, I didn't, because I made one of these. Even in our world, I made one. I changed it to creative, but I didn't save, so it's still in survival. I made one in our world, and it will not work facing north or south. I did make one facing right here, facing this way. And, uh... <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> I have made a lot of 4x4 four four doors in the past two and a half hours. I'm just... I'm beat. <laughs> like, I've been trying to figure out what was wrong, and I found out that it was directional. Watch. This does not pulse limit. And I don't know why. It's obviously because of direction, but I don't know if that's a bug or something. But, if you... Where's my pulse limiter? If This is a pulse limiter, basically... A sticky piston spitting a block out. That's all a pulse limiter does. See? And it works. It's fine. Oh. It's lagging. There we go. But. This. Right here. Is not pulse limiting. So. 
I don't think a 4x4 four four will work. I'm going to try a 3x3, three three, which really kind of disappoints me because I really wanted a 4x4, four four, but I'll be able to deal with a 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to go ahead and try that in the survival world, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And, uh... Um, I was sorry I was messing around in creative mode so must have stayed like that as you can see at the top there it still says created in survival mode so you can tell nothing I didn't save anything in creative mode anything that I did was deleted so I just slept put all my stuff away so now I got a brand new fresh inventory ready to start a new day which it is a new day should have harvested the wheat farm, but that's all right because now, inside of this mountain, we have our very own three by three door. There we go. Now, I didn't dig anywhere in it yet. It's just here for now. But this is probably not going to be a button for long. I'm probably going to hook it up into a uh, a bud switch. Which no longer, I believe, it no longer works on the computer version for bud switches because the uh, February update, the big redstone update with, uh, oh man, I, I wish I had the computer version for that. And no kidding, like you wouldn't even see me on the Xbox version. Not like anyone really does anymore, but ish. I don't know. Anyway, derp. <laughs> so what I want to do. Oh, I want to close the door and not open the chest. Is now that we got the door situated, we got about seven, eight minutes left in the episode. So, what I really want to do is for now, I want to decide a nice location for our nether portal, which I think is going to be on that random island right there. That's where our nether portal is going to be. So, I'm going to go ahead. Where did I put my obsidian at? Blocks? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take these obsidian. And... Huh. I'm trying to think of what I should make the corners of obsidian. Of the, uh... What's this stuff called? Nether portal. That's it. <laughs> um... Let's make them... Let's make them jack-o'-lanterns. I've never made jack-o'-lantern as a corner before, so let's do it. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to. So let's go on over to this island right here. This looks like a pretty decent spot. So I'm gonna go two on the floor, jack lantern, jack lantern, one, two, just like that. One, two, jack lantern. One now I don't know if you uh, know this or not, but jack lanterns and pumpkins actually cannot be placed in midair. See, like I'm trying to place it right now, it won't let me. You have to have a block underneath it. All right, that actually looks Halloweenish. I, I like it. So let's go get our flint and steel and light this bad boy. We're going to the nether. <laughs> um, tools. Oh, we don't have a flint and steel. That's all right. Now we do. <laughs> Now, I expect to die a lot in the nether, because ever since the, uh... Ah, there we go. Ever since the enchanting and potion update, I think it was the enchanting and the potion update. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah? No. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm a derp. But ever since the enchanting and potion update, the nether has been extremely difficult to do anything in. I'm actually going to bring a chest. Plunk that down in there, too. So my goal in the nether is 
find out if we have another fortress. And, well, priorities. Cover the portal in, co in cobblestone. Then, find out if we have another fortress. So, wish me luck, guys. Here I go. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow. 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 I'm on fire! Oh god. Oh my god. Alright, so that did not work out at all like I planned. Oh, now there's two gas shooters. Fantastic! I'm gonna die. Dang it! Man, that was garbage. I'm gonna go back and get my stuff. Ah, oh, that sucks! 13 levels! Ah! Oh! Oh, 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 well, this wasn't smart. I think we're gonna get some armor before we go back in there. <laughs> oh my god. So, that is the shittiest nether spawn I've ever had in my life. A spawn with two gas looking at you, that's amazing. Oh, I'm raging, I'm sorry guys. Well, that's my plan for the rest of the episode, is to go in there... I'm actually going to make some armor. How much leather do we have? 18. That'll be good for a little bit of armor. Why the heck not? <sighs> Alright. Now that I'm all geared out. Let's see if I can go get my stuff back. Actually, hang on a second. How many arrows do I have? 16. That won't do anything. Let's do it. Wow, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. God, I hate it when I do that. It's not the first time I've done that. shooting at guests all day. Hopefully not all of my stuff fell down into that lava, because that would suck. Okay, my objective is to run as soon as I enter the lava. Okay. Oh, I spawned on soul sand. Beautiful. That's why I wasn't going anywhere. Uh, well, here's some of the cobblestone. Dang it, guest. No. No. I hit him. Oh, come on. I hit that back. Oh, I couldn't spawn down here. No, I had to spawn one freaking block higher. Well, all of my stuff is gone, except for what I have now. Great. Crap. And even... No, wait, it probably all ended down here. Yes! It did. Dang it, leave me alone! Can't you see it? I just want my crap back! No! Jesus Christ! Well, I was able to get my almost broken iron sword back, so I guess that doesn't help at all. No pickaxe, no flint and steel, which also means I'm trapped in the nether. Freaking wonderful! Oh my god! Oh 
my god, this is terrible. You know what? Forget it. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wall off this entire area. So because I know I'm gonna spawn somewhere over here next time. So I'm just gonna completely wall off this whole area. So that no gas can shoot it. And I'm going to go kill myself, because that's the only option I have. But, I'm going to be smart about it, because I did save my chest. So, I'm going to put everything in the chest, then go kill myself. I don't know how I got five levels already. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is terrible. I'm so angry. I'm so mad. are worse than creepers. They're like creepers that fly at you at 100 miles an hour. It's terrible. I really couldn't have asked for a shitty spawn either. Watch me spawn outside of this next time. Oh my god, I'd, I'd literally rage quit. I wouldn't even care. Would not even care, guys. Would not even care. Alright. So. Chest. This is free obsidian, though. And I really didn't have to work for it. I just had to die for it. Oh my god, now I want to get out and I can't? This is ridiculous. Glad Netherrack's not too bad to break. My only option, guys. Oh, wow, I forgot to take off my leather armor. Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care right now. Don't even care. Alright, well, I'm sure, I'm sure I gave you guys a couple funny clips to watch in this episode, so, I will, uh, in the comments, leave me your worst nether experience. <laughs> Alright, guys, have a great night, day, whatever it is where you are, and, yeah, keep on trolling. <laughs>